Okay, good morning and welcome to Yenam Mishnayas. We're dissecting today Mishnayas Kilai and Parag Vav Mishnah Vav, Vav Vav 6 and 6. Talking about the name of Piske Aris. Piske Aris is explained in the Mishnah. The Mishnah explains at the end. We're talking about a case of an Aris where you have five vines, makes an Aris that are wrapped around the Pragola. Here you have 11 vines um, wrapped around the Pragola. And what happens? The middle one dries out. So if the middle one dries out, that's not such a big problem because you're left with two sections of aris, right? As long as you have five vines in aris, it makes an aris, which is seemingly like a karam. The round mold is not exactly a karam. But your return says it is a karam. So Mishra says if there's eight amos between these two groups of five, you can't plant anything. If there's eight va'od, even a little more than eight, then you only have to do marking dalad amos, distance four amos from one aris, four amos from the other aris, and you can plant whatever extra left you have in the middle. That's okay. So the question the Mepharshim asks is why is it different than Karakas HaKerem? We established before, this is an opinion that everyone holds by. Karakas HaKerem, bowl spot in HaKerem, which is exactly the same thing. You had a vineyard, and the middle of the vineyard had dried up. You want to plant something else in the middle of the vineyard. You need 16 Amos, Michal Sad. You have to have at least 16 Amos. Here, all you need is 8 Amos. You need 16 Amos. In Karakas HaKerem, you need 16 Amos from one edge of the existing Kerem to the other edge of the existing Kerem. The distance of 16 Amos in between. Here, all you need is 8 Amos in between. Why is the difference over here? What's there difference an artist and a kerem? So I like to suggest that we shouldn't, you know, discuss whether an artist is exactly like a kerem or not exactly like a kerem. Uh, I want to suggest there's two dinim over here, two ways of looking at an artist, which we discussed here previously, is that we decided as a machlokist in Rishon, but I think some of the Rishonim could hold both things, right? That there's a kerem is asr for asr for two reasons. One is that it's yonik, the yonika is asr that. It nourishes a grape vine would nourish would share sustenance with a different species, which would intermingle the two species and cause a change a taste of change in the fruits. Uh, another reason is the ervuvia is that it looks like it's mixed together and it's unpleasant to the eye. We'd say it doesn't look nice when two uh, species are mixed together. I'd like to say the aris um, would not would be like a karam in only one of those aspects and the fact that it looks five kfanim, right, in a one row, if they're wrapped in a pagola, it looks like a karam. It looks like a vineyard. It's more extensive than just one row of five vines. Only if you have two rows of at least three vines or two viotes on them, then it, it sufficiently uh, changes the soil in order uh, that the soil is classified as soil of a karim and it would affect the soil of a nearby species uh but ours you don't have that so in terms of the unica it's not going to be karim but in terms of the eruvia it would be a karim once there's that difference in karakas a karim in this case of piske aris that karakas a karim we're talking about a full-fledged vineyard you have at least two or many more rows so therefore the unica uh it's it's in the soil already it's already reached the soil and therefore in order to make sure that the crops planted in this Karakas HaKerem, this bald spot in the Kerem, don't get Yenika from the soil of the vines, you need at least 16 Amos from all the sides. Ajayin came by the Aris, where there's no problem of Yenika, there's only a problem of uh, Irvuvia, where it's mixed together, so then as long as you have eight, a little more than eight Amos, you can plant something else in between, that would be the, the distinction. And, I think you could say that's pretty much borne out in the Pasuk, right? By Karim, it says, Those Hizra Karmaka Kilayim, Pintikdash Hamlea Tuas Akarim. Those Hizra Karmaka Kilayim. I think Mara says, uh, It looks like, presumably, like a Sada, right? A sada is because, you know, it looks like Yerbuvia. Pintikdash Hamlea Tuas Akarim. Tuas Akarim. The words Tuas Akarim. It becomes. Tvua, it's like wheat, let's say, or a different species, hakarim, they become mixed. It, it becomes tvua, it becomes wheat that tastes like almost like a vine. Tvua sakarim, digitally tvua sakarim, that's talking about the harsher thing where it's actually unique over there, and to the point where it actually makade shit, right? Maybe by an aris it wouldn't be makade shit, even if you planted within four amas, right next to the aris, would it be makade shit or would it not? Maybe you could say that as an afghamina, it wouldn't be makade shit, it wouldn't, because the, it's not strong enough to unique, it wouldn't alter the soil, only five, only one row, uh, the aris, but it would be Yervuvia, so it would be but it wouldn't be the Yanika Maktish to us, Akaram. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you tomorrow. Bye.